preservation food preservation mainly involves food processing technologies that intact the food color texture flavor and nutritive value food technology is a branch of food science which deals with the study of various food preserving techniques food preservation method also increases the longevity or shelf life of the different food items now we will discuss the major principle behind the food preservation method food preservation method either shows microbiostatic or microbicidal effect microbiostatic is an action of inhibiting microbial growth whereas microbicidal is an action of killing microorganisms food preservation method employs chilling freezing and smoking methods to restrict the microbial growth and to destroy microorganism it uses pasteurization and eradication methods secondly the food preservation prevents the self decomposition of the different food items by either inactivating food enzymes through chemical methods like pickling salting and sugaring or by eliminating pro oxidants by using antioxidant agents last but not the least food preservation method also prevents physical chemical and mechanical damage caused due to rancidity flavor encapsulation and bruising now we will discuss the three main objectives of the food preservation method first one is the shelf life second one is food safety and the last one is the food quality food preservation method includes methods like food processing food packaging and food storage to increase the shelf life or longevity of the food products food preservation also ensures food safety by retarding the microbial growth eliminating microbes or by destroying heat resistant spores food preservation also ensures food quality and assures intactness of the food texture nutritive value odor and flavors let us discuss the types of physical and chemical means of food preservation physical methods of food preservation include techniques like drying chilling freezing smoking canning and pasteurization and chemical methods of food preservation include techniques like salting pickling and sugaring now we will discuss each of the food preservation method in detail starting with physical methods of food preservation drying or dehydration method removes the incorporated moisture within the food materials naturally by the sunlight it has been used from the ancient times to dry spices fruits and vegetables nowadays electric dehydrating machine is also used as the artificial method of drying then chilling or refrigeration method is a daily life example of preserving food items refrigeration temperature up to 1 to 4 degree celsius can preserve the food for a few days to weeks cold temperature minimizes the food spoilage to some extent depending upon the food content and food type then freezing is an advanced method over chilling it uses a freezing temperature of minus 18 to minus 20 degree celsius that maintains the longevity of the food item for several weeks to a month smoking is a conventional method of food preservation which uses the smoke released by the burning of wood the formaldehyde and phenolic compounds add unique aroma to the smoked food and preserve food items through their antimicrobial properties after that canning or bottling is a food preservation method that mainly uses water bath and pressure canners to sterilize the food jars water bath canners are used in preserving high acid foods that are having a ph range between 3.6 to 4.6 whereas pressure canners preserve low acid foods that are having a ph more than 4.6 Finally the food jars are sealed by a top lid to avoid any contamination then pasteurization uses batch and flash pasteurization to deactivate or destroy the pathogenic microorganisms batch or wet pasteurization method pasteurizes food items at relatively lower temperature for a long time 
Oppositely, flash pasteurization uses HTST method which stands for high temperature short time and UHT method which stands for ultra high temperature to pasteurize food items at relatively higher temperature for a short time. Wet pasteurization method has a working temperature of 145 degree Fahrenheit and a time limit of 30 minutes. HTST method has a working temperature of 161 degree Fahrenheit and a time limit of 16 seconds. And UHT has a working temperature of 280 to 300 degree Fahrenheit and a time up to 1 to 2 seconds. Food products like milk, juices, cheese, etc. can be preserved by the pasteurization method. We will end up this video by discussing three common chemical methods of food preservation. First one is salting. This method uses salt to remove the water content or moisture from the desired food as moisture favors the growth of different microorganisms. Dry and wet curing are the two methods of salting. Dry curing uses dry salt into the food items like fish, meat, etc. Oppositely, Wet curing uses salt or brine solution to increase the longevity of the vegetables. Then pickling method use natural preservatives like salt, edible oil, sugar and spices for fermentation of the vegetables and uses chemical preservative like EDTA for the process of chemical pickling. Lastly, sugaring is a common food preservation method that uses sugar to remove the moisture content from the fruits like cranberries, mango, etc. to prevent microbial degradation. Sugary substances like sugar granules, honey and jaggery can be used in this method. So friends, this is all for today. I hope you find this lesson useful to study.